you like this joint, P? I'm telling you. Got a new connect here at Lincoln. Yeah. Here's his name right here. His name is Brandon. Y'all see that? Y'all go ahead and screenshot that. Bloomington, Lincoln. Here goes Brandon right there. Brandon, tell some things that you know I don't know about the car. How's it going, man? Um, we've got the new Lincoln Continental. It's 2017. 18s are soon arriving. Um, we're talking a lot more luxury. One of the things that a lot of people love and have seen on TV are the 30-way power front seats that are massaging, as well as we now even offer them with back row seats that have massaging, reclining, all done with buttons and everything else as well. Wow. Yeah, that's always nice. Um, Android Auto CarPlay is already in there. 360 cameras can parallel park itself, 90 degree back ends, um, as well as the heated and cooled seats all the way around. Um, you're gonna get a lot of the nice features that a lot of people are offering these days, like radar cruise control, stopping itself on its own, um, keeping itself in the lane as well too with lane departure assist. Um, but moving forward from there, if uh, you want that great sound system, talk about the Rebel Ultima. Uh, hopefully at some point, if you really like it, come out, give it a shot. You will be blown away by what- PJ, a big fan of this car. Big fan, bro. Uh, he got, look, he got the big old pamphlet in his hand. Big old like, poster. Yeah. <laughs> but that actually, look, just he said he got this Lincoln here. That's that new Navigator. New Navigator. Stay tuned for a review with that, man, because we're going to do a review with Brandon about this one. This one is ferocious. I like that. Yeah. I actually like that the exterior look of this one, but this one's actually better. Facts. I like that. If he likes the Lincolns all together, man. Pete the one who got me coming up here. Yeah, I said, let's do a Continental, man. And look at how Pete dressing. <laughs> and then look at how Brandon dressing. Look, they oh, on the same type of time. Huh? Best limo, best Uber ever right there. Yeah. This yeah. would be a good Uber, wouldn't it? This premium. Yeah. Yeah. This in the back, you yep. the Got to leave a tip after that, right? Even though I don't think Uber even do tips, but you gonna leave a tip after that. You can? Yeah. Or is it Lyft that you can? One of them you can't leave tips. No free marketing for them. They don't get nothing. Go ahead, let, let's talk about that back, man, real quick, because there were some things that you said you wanted me to, you wanted to tell them. So you go ahead on that side and I'll come around this way and you go ahead and tell them why they see this exterior. I like the door handle right here, that's really dope. All right, so go ahead and tell him. Um, all right, so back here, Everybody gets their own private controls. This is when you get all the way up into the reserve. This is a $75,000 MSRP Lincoln Continental. So we're talking it is fully loaded every option. But anybody that's in limbo service or even just wants to drive in a luxury car um, to compare to stack up like the other vehicles in the market are probably ninety dollars to $100,000 to get this kind of luxury Thanks. in it. Um, dual climate control as far as being able to heat it in cooled mm. seats. Get your own privacy shades in the back as well too. You got kids, they can actually just tuck Good that out. You got kosher. privacy shades in the rear as well and that's too. That's automatic? There's this yep. privacy, this last one? And if looking up above, if you want to shut that because the sun's in your eyes, you can. There's just a lot of different- The um, back seat can do that. Yep, and then if you even do this, you got massaging seats as oh, well. Oh, that's as, tough, yep. As well as if you wish, the back seats can also recline on their own and change Up the headrest and, back and down. everything. Yep, you've got oh, that's your own tough. back seat controls. And this is the door handle over right here? And this, this side? This is the button? Even more. Oh, wow, that's tough. Oh, you oh, can, oh, can, you can push the up the back seat. seats? I can recline the back seat. I can do whatever I wish when it comes to that. Also, oh, that's cold. Right here? Yeah. I can recline as well, too. So, wow. a lot of different features in the back. That's dope. Yeah, we would have never knew that, P. I knew That's that. crazy. Oh, you've been watching all the videos, huh? <laughs> yeah, I ain't been watching no Lincoln videos. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Ain't that look cold from the inside right here? Yep. What about from the front? What are some things about the front we don't know? Because I'm looking at this seat and it's just different. Like, okay. right here, got like the plastic thing and it got like the pillows on top. I, I like that. So, if you take a peek at this, I'm gonna show <laughs> a few, like even just right here, this little tiny little bit to recline your back. You control out. that from the door. Yep. And then, so, you hit this little button right here. And it did that. And if you look at your headrest too, your headrest can go up, down, in, out. Oh, that's cold. So that's cold, Pete. Um, you also, like I said, got massaging seats. If you look at this front. Yeah, see right how it's here? split. Yeah, see, I told you each one could go up individually, Pete. Oh, for real? Yep. Yeah. Like the Beamers, they only got one solid piece yeah, and they go up. Out. This yeah. one is the first one I've seen that's split and it goes up. 
That's just, you need that one leg kicked out, restless leg, whatever it might be, with the massaging seats. It actually just rolls on here. It's oh, I'm getting, like, I'm getting fondled on right now by, a, by the seat. Look at that. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> that's it's crazy. That's crazy. You're like, oh, that's on my ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is cold. This is dope. You can also set it up to be specific. I need it on my my lower on my back. right ass cheek or my left ass cheek. You can get it oh, okay. to a perfect spot. Um, you jump in here too. Um, I'm gonna actually. Oh, that's get, cool. You got the whole 360 joint. 360 joint. You've got um, parallel parking as well too. If we get back to the, hold on, I just want to get this. Yeah, everybody, be patient. Oh, that's cold. They got the whole digital screen right here, too. Go ahead and put your foot on the brake. Okay. You can actually, digital dash, you can change that to an actual tachometer, speedometer as well, too. Oh, from, yep, like, yep, that's Changing how it is. My girl's overlay. Yep. That's cold. This uh, exactly is nice. like the overlay. Yep. Yeah, it has the digital there. Yep, that's dope. I like this, though, P. Nice. What about the hood? Let's pop the hood. You got to tell them about the hood. Let's go ahead and pop that thing. Here. How much horsepower does this car got? Does it go fast? That's what I'm going to say. It goes fast. It goes fast? Horsepower is determined based off of does it get to the end of the the exit, anything it might be. Um, I don't actually have the horsepower off the top of my head, but I do know that your Oh, I got here. plastic still on it. It's brand new, y'all. <laughs> brand new, y'all. Everybody relax. It looked nice, so that's all y'all really got to know. This one's all-wheel drive. Yeah, it's nice. All-wheel drive. There y'all go. You can drive it in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> this right here, P. I know you've seen this on the videos. Is this is how you get yeah, like you, you get, get like, like little buttons. You your key, you can put your combination in the car. Unlocked. Oh, like how the old yeah. navigators used to have yeah. right here. Yeah, the, the, the old thing. navigators used to have the buttons, and now you got like the digital touchscreen thing. Yeah, right, that's cool. Know, is that the sound system? Oh wow, is that Burmeister? It kind of looked like it, right? This is actually called Rebel Ultima. It's it's labeled right up here. Oh, you okay. You get that? Yep. There's a 20 speaker sound system in oh, here. Oh wow, that's why it sounds like you're in an uh, orchestra. It does, and there's, I mean with all the tweeters, all the bass, everything that goes throughout this, you actually sit in this, you'll feel the whole entire car kind of just sh shake as it gets to that louder. That's cold, like that's surround cool. sound. Very, very good. Like you're in an IMAX movie theater or something. It's the experience, was it? Oh, Ladybug, or, Ladybug. All right, well, yo, you ready to go on drive, P? Let's do it. All right, let's get it. Appreciate that, man. Like I said, that's Alex right there. See me, I'm Come Brandon. on. Yeah, here you go. I'm, or Brandon, I'm sorry. I said Brandon. Alex is the girl from Infinity. My bad. Pardon me. I don't know. But look. All right, anyway, here goes this car right here, man. Go ahead and screenshot that and hit up Brandon, man. I got his name right that time. Brandon. All right, man. Y'all heard Brandon talking about the Lincoln a little bit. He knew about all the analytical stuff I didn't know about, like the, the airbags and the seatbelts, which is yeah. crazy. The reclinings and all that extra stuff. I ain't know nothing about that. So he gave y'all more of that analytical side, and I'm going to give y'all the three check box that I always check off in all my videos. How's it look? How's it drive? How's it feel? That's my car view. But anyway, man, this is a review that PJ's been looking at for a long, long, long time. He's yeah. been thinking about getting his car. It's like a family car. And probably not getting rid of the A7 boy. What are we going to do? No, I was going to get this and then probably get the Corvette. Okay. So oh. then I can have a family car. Oh, that would be tough. And then have yep. a, like a, you know, for yep. me and my girl. We'll that makes sense. Well, there you go. See, we deal with the everyday shows just like yeah. everybody else because we get massive winners here in uh, Minnesota. So yeah. for y'all who ain't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, hit the bell, and enjoy the greatness. All right? Let's go around the car, Pete. Let's talk to him. Everything that you like about the car, you go ahead and talk to him about because this is more your flavor than it is mine. A hundred percent. Because, you know, now, now Lincoln is trying to do some... To appeal to the younger mass? Yeah, younger mass and give it a little class. Like, if you look up, like, the Chinese government drives these cars. Yep. Yeah, you so said they debadge it though because they debadge everything. Yeah. But it looks super. And they nice. change the, the wheels. They put I've black wheels on it. there, right? Yep. The black rims. Everything is blacked out, and it looks like luxury. Okay. They try to make it kind of look like the the flying spur. They type do, right? Yeah, it type do. You look at it. The high door handles and all of that. Yup. You're right. You're right. I like how the door handles is up here though. That's it, cold. It, it make it the That's different dope. luxury type. I like that, man. I also like this little badge right here, the Continental badge. Yep. The mirrors is tight, like look at that metal. I don't even know how to explain the brushed type yeah, metal look. Yeah. I like that. The wheels are even nice, even though they factory, they look good. It's hard to get that done. Headlights. I seen the, the picture at the nighttime. Picture looks oh, it looks it looks amazing at nighttime. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. The horsepower is anywhere between 300, 305 to 400 horsepower. That's what yeah. we looked up when we Googled it. So if you Google it, that's what they gonna find. That's what they gonna find. <laughs> no roasters, yeah, no roasters, you know what I'm saying? We don't know, no so roasters, that's what it said on Google. You know what I mean? Y'all know I'm not a real analytical person, so that's what you're gonna get. But anyway, a person who's buying this car isn't trying to go dummy fast. That's not the purpose uh, of the car. This is more of a luxury cruiser. Family type. 
be comfortable. Spacious. Back get chauffeured if you want. Limousine, just yep. a lot of limousine services yep. use these cars. Yep. And I, I like it for that reason. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's so, man, let's move around this way, Pete. And I really. All wheel drive. All wheel drive, so good for the winners. Look Panamaric at the. Move. Come on, man. That's, that's cold. Yeah. And you control it from the back. Y'all seen what uh, Brandon was talking about, man. Brandon's actually really cool people. Really cool. Boy. Really cool oh, people. Boy. Yep, and that's he, a fact. He's a head on, uh, on the um, advertisement and the marketing team. Yep. That, Most people we walk in dealership, they don't know how valuable YouTube is as they a don't know. advertising tool. Yep, they don't and know. And it's free marketing, bro. It is. No matter if you agree with it or disagree with it, it's, it's free. It's free. Any publicity Or well, type good. free, you know. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> Cause I'm, I am need this yeah, right yeah, here, come yeah, on now, you know what I'm saying? I'm but anyway, yeah. this is a nice car, man. Type quiet, no crazy exhaust sound. But you get, you do get the two pipes right there, and it's solid, you know what I'm saying, for what you need it for. You got the little sliding shade shutters and all that. Let's hop in the back, Pete, because I know you didn't watch all the reviews and talked about all this stuff. Look at, oh, pardon you, PJ. You left your Louis wallet in the back seat yeah. along with your brochure, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me hop in the back at 610. Well, my seat set at the setting of a 610 person. Look at, let me shut this door. Look at this, man. Look, don't mind my, I got text message. Now I got, I'm, I'm a but busy you person. Look how kosher you are. I am, though, but head my head type dead. Head type look, dead. let me show you on my head. I mean, I'm, let me see if I can lower this joint down, though. No, it's just the backrest. You can't do like the. You can't go You can't scoot the bottom yeah, down, huh? I don't huh? think you can do that. Okay, well, you can't scoot the bottom down because this is the massaging joints. And I don't know. This is, oh, this is the volume joint. Yeah. I think. No, this is the volume. Man, I don't know what this is, man. It's you know? got hella features in Yeah, yeah, it's lots and lots of features. So don't try to roast me, but look at this. This is the reclining joint. This is the going back joint. I mean, yeah, but this is where my head room at, man. I guess this is where my head's stuck at. So I'm now type, but if I do like a slouch thing, I can do this. Yeah. And then my legs is still type cool, you, you know what I mean? You ain't gonna have no 6'10 driver. No, yeah, so, so I'm gonna have lots of, oh yeah, let me scoot that. I can do that, can I? But not on that side, because that's the driver. Cause you, oh, you can't mess with the driver. The driver moved, then he like, oh. Okay, well then let's switch there real quick. Let me yeah, go on your yeah. side. Let me see, here we go. And let's see how you fit over here on this side. This, this stereo look real dope. And you got a cup holder here. Type ashtray, I don't know even know why even people even put them in cars anymore. Shouldn't even be smoking cigarettes, it's 2017. What you say, Brody? Hopefully you can move it, or maybe you need to turn the car off. Oh, no, I'm good. I think you can move it. Let me see. Yeah, I can move it. Here we go. My feet in. Look at this. I'm cool. Look at the hair. Oh, you, you kosher, Super Pete. Super kosher with the 610 move driving. Yeah, you yeah. big kosher. Got your own little buttons and whatnot here, volumes. Yeah, man, turn that screen. off, man. There you go. I don't want to listen to that. <laughs> Come on, man. Turn some fatty waffle on. <laughs> You ever get kidnapped, you know you can get out. Yeah, we just grab the person's head. Hey, I told you, sit still, got the police right there. You know what I'm saying? No, we don't condone that. Here we go. Another little storage compartment. It's nice. nice and this is big, comfortable. This is like, you see how it's big like cushy? Luxury, yeah. This is nice, man. And then, like, you, if you're trying to do like I'm doing with. Oh, cup holders there, too. Big, not weak ones, like no, one not my A7. Yeah, A7 got the loose bus <laughs> ones. I ain't gonna lie. Fall right about that bus, man. Like. <laughs> and if you're doing like I'm trying to do, you can lift this up. Yeah, and I got the two car and what's seats because I'm oh, trying to have pull twins. Back. Oh, and you are about to have twins. And then a daughter in the middle. Yep, that's yep. cool. It's comfortable, too. <laughs> hey, you got the little storage compartment right here. Yeah, you're cool. This is tight flying spur, ain't it? Yep. Oh, that's Plug cool. in, move yep. up. Yeah, that's nice. Little vents. Little, little cubby hole. Oh, that, oh, that's cold. You know how most ones make you stretch it? This yeah, one's like, this one is, it's, it's ready right, to yeah. be stretched. And it comes back. Yeah, it, it, don't, do, it don't be loose puss after. You know what I'm saying? It's tight. Type a little loose, but you know what I mean? but no, it comes this way actually. There you go, that's good. Anyway, man, look at my leg room here. I'm gonna scoot this seat up like this. Oh, you this. can. Ooh. Yeah, come on, man, look at it. Now you big. Hey, man, go sit on the dash. You know what I mean? I'm too tall. But back ain't here. nobody sitting there. If somebody no. driving. So if I put this joint all the way up like this, You're this big kosher. chauffeur. Oh, I'm big, big kosher. I can take take a nap back here. Look at the seat. Keep going. Look at yeah, I'm kosher. Look at this. I'm good. Got a little extendo too. Look at my headroom. I'm still cool because now I can lean back like this. Yeah, now you can at 16 and, and be I can comfortable. still drive her cool and I'm and still cool. still drop this yeah, joint. Drop this yep. like so we There you go. You. Yep, drop that. Uh -oh. It's this one. Hold on. Come on, what you done messed up, P? Hey, you done messed up something, uh, P. What you done done? Uh, oh, here it goes. Okay, cool. Or maybe it's both. All right, hold on. Look. <laughs> edit that out. <laughs> Big edit. <laughs> Damn, we done broke this shit. <laughs> They're gonna be like, why the book don't come down? <laughs> I don't know how See to. See why do. you be touching stuff, B? You shouldn't even put it up. <laughs> You know, niggas, I hate when they touch. Hey, well, you know, we just playing. We meant to put it up and leave it like that. We know how to bring it back down. We just keep it like we that. Even gotta keep Let's it get in front, B. Come on, man. We out of here. I don't even like this back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
the hell we were in the back. <laughs> we wouldn't even be in the back. You know what I mean? But no, if we gonna be comfortable, we could be though. Look at this. I like this joint. That look cold. You got a little tweeter there too. I like that, man. You good, P? I'm good, bro. All right, man. Go ahead and scoot your seat back, man. Let's get to the front, man. Let's talk about that door panel right here real quick, though. Look at that. This joint smooth, man. Smooth, comfortable leather right here. Look at, oh, emergency door. So if that, if this little mechanical stuff break, yep. you can hit this and let yourself right oh, out. Real. Look at that. That's cold. Yeah. yeah, so that way you ain't trapped up in here. Let's go ahead and get the inside, P. These seats are being comfortable. Look at that, man. I'm cool up here. Let me shut that door, man. All right, look, P. Go ahead and tell them about that wood right there. What kind of wood is that you did? That's oh, different, no, right? That's, man, look nice. I don't know exactly what I it like is, that. but it look nice, though. That's cold. Make I it like look luxury. Memory seats, it's like real metals and all that. That's right for motions. You like this joint, right, V? Of course. You've been watching a lot of videos, man. What right. made you want to even look into getting this type of look? That's cold. Uh, because Come my, over, no my life is on me. We need something that's going to fit everybody. Ooh. You need somebody that's going to fit everybody? Yeah, she on me like you. That A7 is not a family car. It's type small in that car, though, bro. It's small, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a, like, you know, four-door coupe. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. look at this. It's kind of deep storage. Yeah. Look, I got the big dummy wallet. Look, grandpa wallet full of uh, tax receipts. Look. And that fit up in Oh, the no, room. no. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, it goes in easily. Yeah, good. Big calm, yeah. Yeah, it's big calm. It's really nice, though, man. This Let's go ahead. nice. And this is just a change of flavor, because remember, I was looking at them 750s. You're right. You're right. Before I bought that yep. 7 And one thing I noticed when I was driving it over is, look at this. That's where the drives and all that is. That takes some time to get used to that, because, you know, you used to like this or like this. And this is, like, right here. That's tough. And you got, like, all the extra stuff right here. Y'all get that. Let me start this joint. That button is cold. And then watch this. Type little... Waiting for it to come on and go to that right there, though. Hey, so soon as you turn on, the bolts just come all up in your butt. Yeah, they start to follow you. Yeah, yeah. Fool. Oh, that's cold. I like the Lincoln color. There's no sign that pop up here. That's right, though. This right here, you got the little woods, little leathers, type little extra little good feel to it, too. Don't feel like cheap. You know, some of you feel like real cheap. Look at that. Look, I hit the volume. Look, get you right where you want to go. Yeah, that's cold, man. You like this joint, it fits you, P. Look at it. big money, look at little wedding rings, looking like that. That's that Yerman, David Yerman. David Yerman's got the bag. Hey, this this is cold. I thought for a minute I thought it had heads up display. That would really set it off. Over oh, there. I like heads up display. Oh, heads up display, so, cold. And you know the new Lincoln uh, navigators you said got the heads up display where you can wear those polarized sunglasses and still see it. Oh, that. Oh, he did say that. Yep, yeah. you're right. So stay tuned for that Lincoln navigator review, man. That's definitely coming. I like this though, man. Look, got a little good feel too. Look at this. Look, one tap, it's just one, boom, bam. It's cold. Yeah, you can Let's feel it. Let's turn that he's the cold, the coolest seat on right there, because it's type hot in here right now. Yep. Yeah, y'all hear the little vents and everything going. Man, it's speeds. Yeah, that's really dope. I like it. How you turn this joint off, though? Um, Mad, I don't know, brody. There you go. Now it's good. Good. Good to go. Uh, but it's still sounding. I don't know that sound's still going. Maybe just do this. This is the off right here. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Okay, well, there we go. Let's go on and drive. I'm about to get this over. Yeah, this joint bro. Oh, there's a little vent right here, too, for the back seat people. Look at that. Oh, horse. man, this, this car got luxury. Yeah, so you get they them hot balls. Ball. They, they can blow right in the short, you know what I'm saying? They, or you got a little stain close, you need to air it out before you go home. They put Maybe some thought the into this car. <laughs> they put some thought into it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and you got a little S here for sport. Oh, you hear that, Joe? You feel it? Mm. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. One thing I noticed when we was driving over here, it goes fast. Yes. You feel that? Mm-hmm. It was like that. Look at this, y'all watch. It's like a floater, too. Yeah. It's like your A7. Fast. It's just like your yep. A7, bro. As oh, far that's as how that. I feel. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. That's like I'm gonna go over and turn it right. Yeah, it feels just like your A7, like a real floater, like it just, just gets up and it's effortless too. It's not gonna give you like no heart no pumping. Power. Yeah, yeah, no, no heart not, pumping, yeah. just Oh, it ain't gonna be like that, but it's gonna move and it's gonna go really fast. It's if gonna be on you can get ninety percent of regular cars that are on the road. You know what I'm saying? Just like if you're just trying to merge over and get in front of somebody, or you know, beat them to the next light, or get in that open lane to hit that little gap, and then booms because this person in front of you driving slow, something like that. This is going to do that. I think a lot of people fail to realize that when you're trying to look for a car, they just think you got to go like type Hellcat or type no. SRTs. Or it's a lot of ZL different lanes or type G, cars. G, GT350 R's. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, there is. There's some cars that are 30, 40,000 that actually go pretty fast. Like, look at that. It just took off and went. Like, it was yeah, nice. That smoke was nice. Bro. It's cold.
And I'm not even a Lincoln. I'm not even a Lincoln fan. Yeah, well, you didn't want to do this. No, nah, because I, <laughs> I think a Lincoln. Lincoln. I think a grandpa. Gold you know old what I'm saying? folks. Yeah, big old person. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like nice uh, old guy who saved up his whole life, has three million dollars in the bank, but wants a nice car, but still still thinks Don't he's tight bro. Don't want to spend broke. a dime. Don't yeah. want to spend a dime. You That's get a Lincoln. You know yep. what I'm saying? So, and then one thing I always think about when I think about Lincoln too is back in the day when we were kids in the hood, we always seen them them cars just sagging in the back. You know, because the big, airbag that went out. Crosses, big yeah. crosses. You know what I mean? Shocks done going out in the back but, of the car. But this is changing my mind. I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is changing my mind because this is different. And it go fast. I got to drive sport mode. Yeah. I'm going to go drive. Regular. There we go. I'm in regular drive. And now automatic. You can just cruise. Cruise. And I'm yeah. still going fast. And it's smooth and it's comfortable. These seats are ridiculous. Dummy. These seats are ridiculous. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Then you, you can like control every bullshit up part. So these right here come in. Don't worry. I'm controlling the car with my kneecap. Look, look at boom. You can get the thing to really just cuff you, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's cold. I'm gonna let you drive P because this is this is something you got to experience. That's crazy. You see how the lane departure trying to keep me in the lane? For Did real. you see that? Oh, you see no, it kind of type type held it a little bit. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna let PJ drive, man, because this is this is definitely his kind of flavor. So, and PJ been looking up all the car reviews. So, <laughs> PJ, <laughs> I done looked up a thousand car reviews, <laughs> auto yep. trader reviews. So now PJ gonna drive. Where's that shade for the back to lower down that shade thing in the back? Um, um, well, no, we just gonna leave it up there. Yeah. Uh, leave it up, Bumpy. Yeah, it's cool. Can yeah. you hit the camera button while you drive? Oh no, but not while you're in motion. For okay, safety. for safety purposes, of course. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool if you can look at 360 view while you're driving, though, right? Yeah. Come on, you drive now, P. Hit the B P button and then uh, let P drive. <laughs> Thanks. Let's go, P. Let's see if I look like premium luxury in here. <laughs> this is all the way your flavor, though. We drove that Cadillac, though, and that wasn't your type of flavor. No, nah, I didn't like that Cadillac, but bro. I bro, I ain't gonna lie. Would you, you know, pick what Cadillac over Lincoln or Lincoln over Cadillac? I would pick this one over them Cadillacs. But Le I feel like Cadillac kind of got the same feel, but goes fast. You know? What yeah, I'm they do. They do. So I'd be like, I don't know, like. But for this one, I don't think there's no Cadillacs. They got like the look at the old folks right there. Yeah, yeah, big old person on Lincoln. Yep. Type, or whatever, but yeah. Yeah. I know what you're saying though. But don't it go fast, all right? I like this car. <laughs> this is my swag, See, bro. See, this is the thing that I told PJ though, right? We were in the dealership. This is when we were finding out who was gonna let, who we had to talk to, do the car view and everything like that. And um, PJ was talking about like how he wanted to get the black wheels and kind of do like how the Chinese ambassadors and all that do. Take a left, yeah. oh, you take a, you could right here. Um, that's what you want to do, black like black wheels, take out the D badge it, yeah, right? D badge it, everything, yeah. But then at the same time, wouldn't it be, it'll be like different, right? It'll be like you're trying to turn it, won't it into be a flying a, Yeah, it won't be a Lincoln. Yeah, so why even get the Lincoln if you're going to do Why, that? yeah, yeah. But I want, I'm going for this look, but like a different kind of look like, so when somebody see that car, they like, what is that? what is it? Yeah, a what I is that? I did my that? R1 lightweight too, though. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't yeah. got not a badge on it. You so then it's like, what kind of motorcycle was that? Yeah. Yeah, unless you really know cars. Like but then you wouldn't take off the front Lincoln badge you said. No, you no, know? I would keep that. Just I like the Lincoln that. part in the back. Just the Lincoln in the back. Because a lot of people would guess if you did do that. Yeah, then they yeah. would be like, uh, what is it? Yeah. But I don't want a false flag. I just yeah. want to make mine look unique. I know what you're saying. Yeah. But some people be false flag when they do that. They do false flag. Yeah. I hate when they do that. So I'll be like, I was like, Pete, why don't you just get a Bentley? He got the brand to get the Bentley. The Bentley is but he's <laughs> yeah. real I'm frugal. I'm trying. You know, I'm in the finance world, bro. So oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I ain't gonna lie, the one thing about this car though is you get to you get to have that look and at the same time you get to have that. You see that? Hit yeah, it. you get to you get to feel it. Is it not the same as the yeah, right? Yeah, you get to the feel flow, it. And it. See that, bro, that turning. Tell me about the steering wheel, bro. It's tight, bro. It's right? responsive. Yeah, it's very That's responsive. what I like. I ain't gonna lie, it is. Usually when you drive uh, cars like this, Cadillac, it be tight, loose booty. Yeah. Two turns you know, to make a right get turn. Get in front of this person and, and, and hit that joint. Watch how it just hunker down and go. When the light go green, just hit it to the floor and watch how it just hunker down and go. For sure. But I like how the steering is responsive. Like, the, it caught me off guard. I, I thought it was going to be like in my Honda. You can turn that wheel all the way to the left and it's still going straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not like that. It's very responsive. You do any little anything, it's very responsive. I yeah, like that. Bro. I like it a lot. Look. Yeah, this car get out, right. boy. This car Dude. goes, boy. <laughs> For Lincoln, that, yeah. that, that surprised me. I ain't gonna lie. Yes. This car is slowly but surely uh, changing my mind yeah. about what I thought about Lincoln. I never drove a big SUV. Yeah. I mean, not a, a big car, yeah. like yeah. A, a sedan car. You yeah, know, like this. Yeah, this is yeah. dope, bro. I ain't gonna lie. One thing I will say is I don't know, know where the next one. Next one. One thing I will say about this car. Oh yeah, we keep going shaking. We gotta take the thumbnail picture too. Okay. But um, one thing I say about this car, guys. 
uh, in, comp in competition with his Audi, his Audi styling wins way better to me. The uh -huh. Audi A7, your Audi it's A7, the four door coupe. It, the styling is way better. Yeah, than that's the appeal for that car. But with the styling comes the con because it limits the headroom in the front Everything. seat and the back seat. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a sport hatchback kind of car. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like I was telling you, yeah. I was looking at them repeats. The repeats, yeah. But, but those, there's no I got in the back space, seat bro. Them, bro. Them joints is nipped. There's no there space. Like I'm no, looking at them Ashton yeah. Martin repeats, but there's no like you space. You want to say that the, that's the best family car you can buy, but that there's is, no space. It's no space, yeah. yeah. That's true. And if you go performance wise, then the Panamera is better than it. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's true. But the styling with this. The, 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 the by none. And the repeat is like an eclipse. You never see those on the road. You never. Unless you're yeah. in like Cali or New York or yeah, somewhere yeah. with lots of bread and lots of more people. You yeah. know what I mean? But here in Minnesota, it's like an eclipse seeing them here. You don't you know see I mean? them. I seen one. And maybe That's why three I wanted years. to get one. That's why I've been looking at yeah. it. But. So, but I ain't gonna lie, but this is better as far as the inside cabin and comfort. Better and than an your, everyday better than your car. Audi. Better than your Audi. Of course. Yep. But Audi, is Lincoln an American car or an overseas car? I actually don't know. Okay, well, anyway, if it is, if this, I, I would like to think it was American made Lincoln. That's what I thought, but I but don't know. Don't, don't kill yeah, us. Don't kill us. Yeah, yeah, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know, you know what I'm saying? But Audi, those are supposed to be the foreign type whips, so yeah. those are supposed to, if this is American, this is killing that car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Italians or the overseas are known for, right? But, but the thing is, this car would be in the same class as an A8. Is it? Yeah, because oh, it's a sedan. Okay, okay. Whereas my uh, my uh, A7 is like a four door coupe. Would yep. it be with like the CLS yep. 550, the Panameras, the the Repeat is actually another level, but that makes sense. them kind of cars. So if you compare this to an A8, uh, not nah, so much. A8 or type. or a 750 <laughs> or S550, that would be this class. But the prices for those cars that you're talking about hundreds double, of thousands of dollars. They're double this. Yes, yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. So. I ain't gonna lie, I, if I, man, if finance was the issue, then obviously this. Yeah, bro. Like, or if you just want to be cool and not go yep. dummy with the, if you yeah. got other, but you want to still have a nice daily driver. This yeah, is it. Facts. This would be the one. Because you, the cars that is competition. This is killing it for the competition. As far as the for money, the for the month, for the yeah, money, for the, your bank the bank for your, your buck. buck, you get way more with this. You know what I'm saying? Because you can think you can get two or three of these cars for the price of one eight eight. Cause this is what sixty thousand. This is sixty thousand. Yeah, for an A eight, that's not all specked out. It's still gonna be like a hundred some thousand. Hundred some thousand. The ones even, that we were the, the, the seven fifty I was looking at was a hundred and twenty five k. All the way over there. All the way over yep. there. Yep. Yep. You're right though. That's what I'm saying. It's different. But this joint is nice though. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And like I told y'all, it's slowly changed my mind about what I thought about Lincoln. Cause Lincoln coming out with some new hitters in that Navigator. It's that about looks to. Dope. It's about to change the game for yep. Lincoln. Facts. Maybe they can get back into the the truck game because Yukon. Cadillac, yeah. all of these cars are, you know, suburban. That's true. They crushing Lincoln. Well, Lincoln used to be wrong. Right no, Lincoln used to kill the game. Back with Chuck Johnson's family vacation, when he had the, we had the spinners on there. Yeah. Boy, wrong. that was a legendary whip. Bro, all the way over there, bro. So that way, ain't no cars right next to us. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all the thumbnail Honda and the thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? My fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. Yeah, you're embarrassing. No, it's like, <laughs> I'm tripping. Yeah, right here. You good. But no, um, this joint is nice, man. I like it. Pete was the one who told me to go up to Lincoln. Yeah, membership. I said, can we do it, bro? And I know y'all, a lot of y'all been requesting me to do Lincoln's too. So it was like a win-win, you know what I mean? He get to live, you know, what he's been watching the videos with me and do the car view with me, you know what I mean? So then at the same time, y'all get to see it too. And at the Facts. same time, I get to make the video and I get to have the experience because it has changed my mind a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's an all-around dope car, man. Like I said, sure. I did this car view at um, Lincoln Bloomington. So if you want to go there, how Brandon. Brandon? Brandon was mad cool. He was cool, he was and cool. he's up on yeah. the marketing. He on the game. And that's yeah. what we talked about he before we went in. Like, man, can we yeah. talk to the marketing director yep. or the GM? Because I usually don't team. like to talk to uh, – because when you go in these dealerships, the salesmen just huddle over you, just thirsty for a sale. You know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, listen, bro, I got a hell calorie. I don't need a car. Yeah, I just we, do car reviews. And then sometimes that, they kind of just switch up on you after that part. So I just like to go ahead, straight to the head people who going to get done. You either going to tell me no or you're going to tell me yeah. But they, but they got the they, power to make the decision. They do. I don't want to be like, I got to yeah. ask my boss. Or yeah, 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 yeah. I might as well just talk straight to him then if that was the problem. You know what I mean? But Brandon was real cool. So if you want to get a Lincoln, go up to Lincoln Bloomington. Brandon's real cool people. That's the only person I know in there that I feel like is mad cool. So anyway, man, just like that, this review is over. It's done. P, you liked it, right? Dope. Okay. Well, then I said we out of here. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I try to I move see it. it. I see it. <laughs> to my league, bro. <laughs>